Good morning, Waterloo. This is the former Eurostar International section. It is now Platforms 2024. Um, this is the first time I've seen it now that it's actually fully finished. Uh, although this bottom level, even though it's finished, it's not yet open. So you can just see it, not much there at the moment. Anyway, I'm David Frankel. I'm Duncan Friedberg. And this is the train spotting tour. So here we are at Waterloo East, and London Waterloo is primarily a terminus station, but it also has a kind of se semi-separate through station, which does indeed have four platforms. Mm. There's a the South Eastern train. A pair of 465s. Well, the train we arrived on is now leaving. It's 465024 on the back. Hopping over to Terminus in Charing Cross, just across the river. Duncan, does Waterloo East really need four platforms? I think you should just close these two platforms and just use digital signalling. That'll be just as good as having an extra two platforms, don't you think? Why do you need all this space? There's barely any trains anywhere. Honestly, 465-930, not in service. with a service to Charing Cross. It's 375s 908 and 917. 466.024 with a service to Gravesend. So here we are, under the blue canopy. The platforms themselves were moved, the platform buffers were moved quite a bit to regain a bit of space. There don't seem to be any actual trains from these platforms. I mean, I think they're open now, but there's just nothing here. Maybe because it's a Sunday, and you just don't bother using them. So here we are on platform two. Uh, we were going to spot on platform 19, but there was a guy there who told us we're supposed to have permission to film, which is obviously nonsense, but uh, yeah, we've come here instead. Our train's from here in about half an hour. So let's, in the meantime, do a bit of spotting. This is, of course, the terminus of all, pretty much all Southwest Railway services, Southwestern Railways, I should say. And that ranges from very old trains like this one, to the newer 707s. Here we have uh, 457737. Is that right? Say. That's, I think, a different train class on the back. Again, you've got a two car unit that's just been hooked up.
pair of, I think, 458s. Meanwhile, here is 456024 coming into platform one. making full use of the extended platforms. These platforms, as you can probably tell, were quite recently extended. That was part of the work here. Oh, it really has made full use. Correction, these are 455 units, not 458. The 458 is the Juniper. So that, those are 455s. And there's some now. I should really ought to get uh, real-time trains up so I can actually see where these trains are going. That service, I think, went to Chessington South. Meanwhile, this, I think, is from, Ches is from Chessington South. Got a Class 707 service to Windsor and Eton Riverside. Class 707s are the newest trains on the South Western Railway network, but they're actually, they will actually get rid of them soon enough, and replace them with, with Aventurers. Go figure. It's two 707s, actually, but I cannot see the number. There we've got a Juniper, so that's the 458. These were converted from the Gatwick Express 460s. Or some of them were, I think some of them were built as Junipers, but they looked different. So they basically merged two train fleets. I'm not sure where that one... In fact, yeah, that one's coming from Winter and Eaton Riverside. Meanwhile, here's a 455 from Guildford. They don't seem to have the unit numbers on the front. And why don't they have unit numbers? That's very annoying. A pair of 455s with no apparent unit numbers to be seen. And this is going to take up the entire platform. Oh no, no it's not. Never mind. Got a little bit of space there. Four five six service to Hampton Court. Four five five at the back. Four five six zero one three, I think. And again, the 455 doesn't seem to have its unit number displayed anywhere, inexplicably, so I can't actually tell what number it is. Oh, that was a spark. Service, I believe, to Portsmouth, Class 444, the third rail equivalent, equivalent of the Class 350s. They're different differentiated from the 450s because they have carriage end doors instead of mid-carriage doors. It's a pair of 444s. I can't see the number from here. Zoom in. 444021 on the front.
and 444029 on the back. The electric pair of class 455s five heading off to Guildford. Six on the back. Two car four five six oh two four on the back, forming a ten coach train. Maybe ten or twelve. No, ten. Uh, there's a four fifty, so you can tell they're different from the four four fours because they have mid carriage doors. And there's also a train arriving here. Another four, another set of four five fives. No, it's a four five five and a four five six. in the background there. So I think that one at the back is from Basingstoke and Alton. And that one that over here is from Guildford. Train coming into platform two. This will be our train in a little bit. Uh, it's a loop, loop line service from London Waterloo to London Waterloo through Twickenham and Wimbledon. For like, 455 of an unknown number on the back. Meanwhile, a service to Weymouth, which I believe is that 444, is leaving. There's another 455 on the back of this train. It's class 444 for Weymouth. Two class 444s. And there's another pair of 444s just arriving in behind it. Seven oh seven double oh seven is now arriving. Would you believe it? That's coming from Hampton Court. It really is 707007. And 707009. And again, a whole bunch of trains arriving and leaving at the same time, making it very difficult to keep track. There's an arrival in there. Pair of four four fours. Oh, and now this train is leaving for Guildford. Brilliant. It's possible to film all the trains because they're all coming in and leaving at the same time. Pair of class one four. No, there. Five. Four five fives to Guildford. There we go. Got there in the end. arriving uh, I believe from Portsmouth and Poole we have another arrival from Portsmouth Harbour 45126 on the front Four fifty. Five six nine on the back.
finally another rival into platform one and it's a pair of 455s from Chessington South. And there's a departure for Windsor and Eaton Riverside. Another Juniper 458. Pair of 458s, in fact. So that was London Waterloo, we may be 16 minutes behind schedule, our viewpoint may have been a little bad but it is not our Waterloo, well it is, but you know what I mean. We're going to Clapham Junction next, so we'll see most of the trains coming out of Waterloo and also some of the southern trains to and from London Victoria, which should make it a very interesting episode. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.